In this video, I'll show you how to use your iPhone's mobile data on your Windows PC when connected with a USB cable. This is useful if you're trying to connect a desktop PC to the internet, but it doesn't have a Wi-Fi card and you don't have an ethernet connection available. To get started, open the settings app on your iPhone and tap on personal hotspot. Turn on the allow others to join option to enable your hotspot. Now head over to your PC and you'll need to install iTunes if you don't already have it. iTunes provides the necessary drivers to share your iPhone's internet connection over USB. Apple no longer provides a direct download for the iTunes installer on their website. It must be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. If your PC has internet access, simply open the Microsoft Store, search for iTunes, and install it. However, if your PC doesn't have internet access, the best way to install iTunes would be to download the installer for a slightly older version of iTunes on another device that does have an internet connection, then transfer the installer to your PC using a USB flash drive. An installer for an older version of iTunes is available on the Apple Support Docs website, and I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Click the download button, then navigate your computer to download the installer onto your flash drive. Once iTunes has finished downloading, plug your flash drive into your PC, then run the installer. Once you have iTunes installed, you'll need to run it at least once and accept the terms and conditions. Once iTunes has opened, you can close out of it immediately. Next, connect your iPhone to your PC using a USB cable. When prompted on your iPhone, select Trust This Computer and enter your passcode if required. Your PC should now recognize your iPhone as an Ethernet connection. To confirm the connection, open Control Panel, then go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, and under Active Networks, you can see Kyle's iPhone, which is the name of my iPhone, and it is connected through Ethernet 5. Now if we click Change Adapter Settings on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see that Ethernet Adapter 5 is using Apple Mobile Device Ethernet, and it is once again showing the name of my iPhone. Finally, we can test our internet connection by opening up our web browser and going to a website. If everything is configured correctly, you'll now have a reliable internet connection using your iPhone's mobile data. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.